Welcome once again to the Moj Maths and Science. In today's class, we'll be looking at basic operations in number bases. In our last lessons, we dealt with how to convert from base 10 to other bases and also how to convert from other bases to base 10. But in today's class, we'll deal with basic operations in number bases. We'll look at how to add in number bases. We'll look at how to subtract in number bases multiplication in number bases, and we'll conclude it with division in number bases. That said, if you are new to our class, and this is the first time you are meeting us, we'll advise you subscribe to our channel. That way, you will ensure you get our videos anytime we create such videos as this. Also, you use that to tell YouTube that you love what we're doing, and you encourage us to do more. Thank you, and let's get into class. I have selected six questions to help us understand the concept of the basic operations in number bases. The first two questions will help us with addition, the third with subtraction, the fourth and the fifth will help us with multiplication, and the sixth will help us with division. Question one. Two, three, four, base five, plus 4, 3, 4, base 5. Just the same way we, we operate in base 10. That's the same way we're going to take this. This will come 2, 3, 4, 4, 3, 4, base 5, base 5. We are adding in base 5. So that it becomes 4 plus 4 becomes 8. 4 plus 4 is 8. But that 8 is actually in base 10. 8 in base 10. Let's convert it to base 5. It becomes 8 here, you have 5. 5 in 8 is 1, remaining 3. 5. 5 in 1 is 0, remaining 1. Take it from bottom to the top. That means 8 in base 10 is the same thing as 1 and 3 in base 5. So that I'll have 3 here and I'll carry 1. The same way we would have operated in base 10, you carry 1 for every 10. So for every 5, I carry 1. Now, 1 plus 3 is 4. 3 plus 4 is 7. 7 in base 5 becomes, we have, if you do 7 in base 5, you have 2 and you carry 1. Now, 2 again plus 1 is 3. 3 plus 4 is 7 again. 7 in base 10 to base 5 becomes seven, 5 in 7, that is 1, remaining 2. So I have 2 here, I've carried 1. So at the end of the day, my 2, 3, 4, base 5 plus 4, 3, 4, base 5 is the same thing as 1, 2, 2, 3 in base 5. Let's take the second example. Let me rub this off. Example 2, 101 base 2 plus 111 base 2. 101 base 2 plus 111 base 2. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 in base 10 converted to base 2. It becomes 2 in 2 is 1, remaining 0. So I'll write down 0, I'll carry 1. 1 plus 0 is 1, plus 1 is 2. 2 again in base 10, converting it to base 2 becomes 0, I'm carrying 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 1 is 3. Convert 3 in base 10 to base 2, it becomes, you have 3, you have 2. 2 in 3 is 1, remaining 1. You have 2, 2 in 1 is 0, remaining 1. Take it from bottom to the top. So that 3 in base 10 is the same thing as 1, 1, base 2. So I'm bringing that here, 1, and carrying 1. So at the end of the day, 1, 0, 1, base 2, plus 1, 1, 1, base 2, is the same thing as 1, 1, 0, 0, base 2. With this, I know you have an, a good understanding about addition in number bases. Let's use this example to understand subtraction. The same way we have to carry, for every one we're carrying, the base, if it was base 5, you carry 5. If it was base, base 
6, for every 6, you carry 1. So now let's treat subtraction. Question 3. Question 3. 1, 1, 3, 1, B6, minus 4, 5, 5, B6. 1, 1, 3, 1, minus 4, 5, 5. Here is in B6, here is in B6. Now, 1 minus 5, obviously it's impossible. If I'm carrying 1 from 3 to 1 here, I'm carrying that 1, it's a 6. What do I mean? Take for example, if I ask you to solve in tenths and units, if I ask you to solve 3, 2, minus 4, 5, sorry, minus Probably 1, 5. Let's do 1, 5. You observe that 2 minus 5 is actually impossible. We're borrowing 1 from 3 to 2 to become 10. When that 1 gets to 2, it becomes 12. We're adding 10 to 2 to become 12. The same principle will apply here. When I borrow 1 from 3, I assume that 1 to carry a value of what? 6. 6 plus 1 6 plus 1 here now becomes 7. 7 minus 5 is what? 2. I'm left with 2 here. I'm still going to borrow 1. That 1 again will carry a value of what? 6. One, that 6 plus 2 that I'm left with here becomes 8. 8 minus 5 is 3. I'm left with 0 here. But remember, I have a 1 here. If I borrow this 1 in base 6, it becomes 6. 6 plus 0 is 6. 6 minus 4 is 2. Base 6. So that 1, 0, 1, 3, 1 minus 4, 5, 5. 4, 5, 5. Base 6, all in base 6, is the same thing as 2, 3, 2, base 6. With that, we've treated subtraction. Let's see how to multiply in number basis. Two one three two one base four base four. Now if I'm multiplying in number basis and look at this, I'm multiplying in base 4. 1 times 3 is 3. 3 is less than 4. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 is higher than 4. 6 in base 10 to base 4. This is 6, here is 4. 4 in 6 is 1, remaining 2. 4 in 1 is 0, remaining 1. Take it from bottom to the top. That becomes 1 and 2 base 4. So that 2 times 3, now I have 2. I'm carrying 1. 2 times 1 is 1. 2 times 1, sorry, is 2. Plus this 1, it becomes 3. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 in base 4. 4 from... 4 in... 4 base 10 to base 4... Is the same thing as 1 and 0. Sum it all. 1 plus 3 plus 0 obviously is 3. 2 plus 1 is 3. 2 plus 5. 2 plus 3 is 5. 5 from base 10 to base 4 is the same thing as 1 and 1. 1 here and 1 here. 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 0 again is 1. So that... 2, 1, 3, base 4, multiplied by 2, 1, base 4, is the same thing as 1, 1, 1, 3, 3, base 4. Let's take a second example in multiplication to help us understand it better. Number 5. We have 10112 multiplied by 112. 1011 one, one, 
1, 1, all in base 2, so that 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 1 again is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 1 is 1. Let's sum it up. Summing it up, this is assume 0 here. I have 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. Converting 2 from base 10 to base 2 gives me 0. Then I have 1 left. 1 plus 1 is 2. Converting it back to base 2 again, I have 0. I have 1 left. 1 plus 1 again is 2 plus 0 is still 2. I have 0 and I have 1 here. 1 plus 1 again is 2. Convert it to base 2, 0 and 1. So that 1, 0, 1, 1 base 2 is times 1, 1 times 1, 1 base 2 is the same thing as 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 base 2. So with that, we've come to the end of multiplication. We've seen addition, we've seen subtraction, and we've also dealt with multiplication. The last is dealing with division. When you are dividing in number bases, I always advise this. Convert your figures from other bases first to base 10, do your division, and convert back to your number base. Here is it. I will convert... 302 base 6 first to base 10 that becomes 302 base 6 to base 10 this will raise the power of 0 remember our lecture remember our lesson when we dealt with converting from other bases to base 10 we'll raise the last part here to 0 the next will be to 1 the next will be to 2 so that this becomes 3 times 6 raised to the power 2 plus 0 times 6 raised to the power 1 plus 2 times 6 raised to the power 0. That becomes 3 times 6 raised to the power 2 is 36 plus 0 times 6 raised to the power 1. Anything times 0, of course, is 0. So we can nil off this. 0 times 6 raised to the power 1 is 0, plus 2 times 6 raised to the power 0. Anything raised to the power of 0 is 1. That becomes 2 times 1. So that this is 3 times 36 is the same thing as 8, 1, 0, 8, plus 2, which is the same thing as 1, 1, 0. Now, let's convert... 5 base 6 to base 10. It becomes 5 times 6 raised to the power 0. Because the first digit should carry raised to the power of what? 0. That becomes 5. Anything raised to the power of 0 again is what? 1. 5 times 1, which is equal to what? 5. Now, after this basic conversion, the next thing, of course, is our division. 1, 0, 1. This implies that 3, 0, 2, base 6, divided by 5, base 6, is the same thing as 1, 1, 0, already in base 10, divided by 5. 1, 1, 0, divided by 5, is the same thing as 22. You can do your division for 110 divided by 5. 5 in the first 11, that's 2 remaining 1. That 1 comes to 0, becomes 10. 5 in 10 is 2, that's 22. Now we've gotten the answer in base 10. But it doesn't end there. We'll now convert it from base 10 back to base 6. Let me rub this off to have space. Twenty-two in base ten to base six, so that it becomes twenty-two. Here is six. Six in twenty-two. That's three. Six times three is eighteen. Twenty-two minus eighteen. It remains four. 
6. 6 and 3 is definitely 0. 6 can't divide 3. 6 cannot be found in 3, rather. Remaining 3. Take it from bottom again to the top. So that at the end of the day, our 302 base 6 divided by 5 base 6 is the same thing as 34 base 6. With this, we have come to the end of this lesson. I hope you understand the concept of basic operations in number bases. You can multiply, you can divide, you can add, and also you can subtract in number bases. In our last lesson, we'll take a look at how to solve basic equations. How to solve equations in number bases. Thank you very much for staying with us.